fighters. You gotta get me a record. It's our 10th album. We gotta break the mold on this one. Let's out. Let's go somewhere we've never been. This place is amazing. Do you guys get this overwhelming sense of death? Ooh, doesn't really seem like the right fit. Whoa, that's rad. That was weird. The sound of this house is the sound of album 10. Dave and Nate, how are you both doing today? Hi, Rory. Hi. Well, thanks. A uh, quick one right off the bat. What's your favorite scary movie? Exorcist. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what's good is a movie called The Descent from about 10 years ago. I don't know if it's my favorite yeah. scary movie, but it wasn't super popular, but it was great. The cave driving one. It's fantastic. You know the really? one? Oh, right? absolutely I do. It's, it was it's one. It was one of those cinema going experiences where it was like, I, it's, am I fully just not going to be able to watch this whole film because it's so scary? Um, no, it's fantastic. Yeah. I don't want to do any spoilers whatsoever, but there are some very inventive deaths in this movie that I absolutely adored when it came to particular characters and their particular way of dying on screen did you have uh, a, a particular kind of input in how those characters would die or was that kind of already inbuilt into the script um we had this amazing man named tony gardner do all of the special effects He's been around for decades and has worked on countless TV shows and films. And he invented Chucky, Bride of Chucky, and um, was in the Thriller video. And he's worked on tons of zombie shows. And so he's, you know, he's no stranger to gore. Um, so when it came time to come up with all of those kills, we walked around the house and with a notepad and pen and just wrote down the most fantastical ridiculous ways to off everybody um and we were laughing hysterically as we were doing so like it was it was really fucking funny just to come up with something as silly as rami's death or taylor's death um so yeah it was you know not something we ever imagined doing in our professional life Sure. Or otherwise, like, I mean, <laughs> like, don't walk around thinking of ways to murder your friends. I hope, or at least we don't. So it was fucking hilarious. And now we can only imagine, yeah. Um, when, now I know this is like a, a healthy mix of comedy and horror, and that's, and that's, it comes across fantastically in the finished products. But whenever there are movies that are based in uh, spooky places, like haunted homes or whatever, um, the cast and crew often come back and say that some spooky occurrences actually took place while they were making the scary movie. Did anything like that kind of pop up while you're making this at all? Or was it just all, all plain sailing? Just rock guys trying to act. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty terrifying. I gotta say. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. No, I'm not school fighters. Yeah. Um, no, I, no, I don't think that, well, I'll tell you what though, that house since finishing the movie has been torn down. So now it's oh, wow. just a fucking mountain of dirt. Um, so maybe we're the ones that cursed the fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx that place. Sorry, I can no longer function as a house. No, the yeah. writers fucking snuck it up so bad. It's ruined. It's ruined. Um, outside of like, I, I think like so many TV shows and, and movies uh, would almost get inspiration from your music, from your songs. And I was looking through like the IMDb just to have the amount of Foo Fighters songs that have appeared in huge TV shows and huge movies over the years. But the one that stuck out the most, and I'm curious what your impression of it was back in the day when it, when it happened, was that opening scene of the other guys when they used uh, My Hero for the, for the Rock and Sam Jackson's scene. Do you, do you remember uh, them pitching kind of, I guess, like them using that song for this? Or do you remember seeing it back in the day? For, for, I'm sorry, for which movie? The Other Guys. Well, it just came out. No, no, this was this, so this was a movie back in 2010 with uh, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg as police officers. But well, during the that, opening that, scene, they use, they use your song for The Rock and Sam Jackson. Uh, in their huge kind of like action that, scene. That song's, been, that song's been around so long that it's in its second movie because it started <laughs> off in Varsity Blues. Did it started off in a high school football movie? Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, I, 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 I hate to sound like a jaded rock star. No fucking clue what you're talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's, 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 yeah. Oh, well, I, I highly recommend seeking it out. Like, even that clip on its own of The Rock and Sam Jackson. I didn't Jackson. even know we had an IMDM, DM, whatever the fuck it's called, page. Like, <laughs> Well, yeah. we do now, but you gotta have, yeah. But now we yeah, now, one, now one we credit, have one. One credit on it. One yeah. fucking little movie poster. You are absolutely welcome. But I, I, I sincerely uh, recommend checking that scene out because it is hilarious, and the song is used to uh, perfection in that scene. So I highly recommend it. Great. Um, of course, calling from Ireland, I can't not ask a non-Irish question, um, and the one that's come up from everyone who I mentioned when I was chatting to you guys today was uh slain 2015 i don't know if you have a particular recollection of that gig but everyone was everyone who said they were there and people lie about going to that gig because that's how good the gig was people lie about having been there was that the rain arrived and normally that would like put a dampener on on proceedings but it just actually elevated everyone's mood i was wondering like if you have any particular memories of that gig or just even performing in and around ireland i do remember dragging the fellas out into the rain so that they could feel it with the audience because you know if that were to happen in the states everyone would like run to their teslas and go straight home you know uh, <laughs> in ireland i think that it's a bit more cause for celebration because you know when 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 the skies open up like that it's you against mother nature and so it almost becomes this like a, bad, like a badge of honor. Yeah, like, or yeah. like a, a, a battle of, of of will where you're like, I'm fucking staying right here I for this whole goddamn fucking show. <laughs> so um, I do remember that. Yeah, it was fucking crazy. That doesn't happen too often. You know, it, it, it's it's very Irish. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is particularly Irish. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, and I absolutely really enjoyed Studio 666. Thanks, Rory. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. What do we do? We go save his ass. Is the album almost done? Yeah, it's killer. Here you go, man. Finish the song. You did.